Once a week, you take your trash and recyclables to the curb, and that is probably the last time you think about it, because after that, it goes away. Where is away anyway? Away, if you live in Sunnyvale, Mountain View, or Palo Alto, starts at the Sunnyvale Materials Recovery and Transfer Station, otherwise known as the Smart Station. The Smart Station, in its current form, has been in operation since 1993, but this site has been a destination for Sunnyvale's refuse for almost 90 years. In the 1920s and 30s, piles of garbage were gathered and burned, but for more than 50 years, the site was used as a landfill, and the hills surrounding the station contain much of the garbage collected during that time. Today, trash and recyclables arrive here only to be transferred away to other final destinations, but this land at the edge of the San Francisco Bay has long been dedicated to the increasingly sophisticated handling of garbage. Your garbage will make its first stop here at what is called the tipping floor. Your garbage will go through many steps of separation on its way to its final destinations. First, very bulky items will get pulled aside here for appropriate disposal, then it's up the dual conveyor belts to a preliminary sorting room. Sorters here pull more bulky items such as carpet, wood, and cardboard off the line and sort it for recycling or disposal before everything else heads into huge rotating trommels. Your garbage bags are about to take a tumble. Those vicious looking teeth will break open the garbage bags and let the garbage move about as the trommel rotates and items of different sizes will fall out through sets of holes of two different sizes. Small items will fall out first, much of it rich in organic material. Larger items fall through the next set of holes, including many recyclables. Automatic sorting continues by size and type with help from magnets, a disc screen sorter, and an eddy current which pull out steel and aluminum. Plastics are sorted by hand. Much of the garbage that moves through the smart station is from non-residential sources where recycling options may not exist and it is beneficial to have a way to capture recyclables that were thrown away. Even though recyclables rescued from the garbage in this way will not fetch as high a price as clean pre-sorted material, it will still be saleable on the market and will keep material out of the landfill. What emerges from the end of the trommels will contain a lot of paper which will be hand sorted and sent to be recycled. All the material from this elaborate materials recovery process that cannot be pulled out or recycled will eventually work its way here to the compactor where 100 tons of garbage per hour can be compressed for transport to its final destination at the landfill. Deposited from above, the garbage is shoved and crushed into a rectangular shape 37 feet long, 7 feet wide, and weighing 24 tons. This 48,000 pounds of trash will then be pushed into a truck and driven 27 miles to the Kirby Canyon landfill in South San Jose. 30 loads a day for an average 650 tons per day make this journey. Very little decomposition can take place in the landfill environment, so the material in the landfill will remain there indefinitely. Garbage does not go away, and we pay a fee on every ton we deliver to the landfill, as well as paying drivers to drive the trucks and buying fuel to get them there. It is a sobering reminder that anything we can do to reduce the amount of waste we generate is a valuable effort. Here are some easy examples. Using reusable dishware for picnics and parties, reusable gift bags or cloth bags for gift giving, composting your food scraps instead of throwing them away, and bringing your own cup to your favorite coffee shop. Much of your garbage may have made its way into a truck to head to the landfill, but back at the smart station, recyclables pulled out of the garbage as well as those you separated and put out at your curb will be sorted and sent to baling machines to be formed into easily loadable bales of material. These bales will be loaded into trucks and sold to manufacturers and paper mills to be made into new products with recycled content. Look for the symbol the next time you need to buy something. But remember, as wonderful as recycling is, it is important to understand that even creating new products made from recycled materials still uses a lot of energy and water. The better choice is to always be thinking of ways to avoid having to dispose of items in the first place. Recycling your plastic water bottle is better than throwing it away, 
but reusing a metal water bottle over and over is even better. Along with your garbage and recycling, you may also have put out yard trimmings at your curb, and those will also be put to good use at the Smart Station. Yard trimmings are collected, put through a chipper, and then transported to a composting facility. The resulting compost will eventually make its way back to the Smart Station for use by residents. Some items should never be thrown in the garbage, even though they are commonly found in homes. Examples include batteries, fluorescent light bulbs, and computer equipment. Such items require special handling to avoid environmental contamination with cadmium, lead, copper, and mercury. Leaving such items in the trash can not only contaminate the environment, but can also be hazardous to the workers at the smart station. Please do all you can to keep those things out of the garbage. While you went about your day, the contents of your garbage bags, recycling bins, and yard waste containers have moved through the smart station and are on their way to other destinations. The workings of the smart station, largely invisible to the residents of the cities it serves, ensure safe, timely handling of solid waste. The improved sorting equipment installed in 2009 is just the latest action taken by the cities of Sunnyvale, Mountain View, and Palo Alto to reduce the amount of material sent to the landfill. City employees, supported by the requirements of AB 939 and the wishes of the community, continually work at educating and enabling residents and businesses to make choices to reduce, reuse, and recycle all they can as conveniently as possible.